again. Um, just wanted to show you a couple of books. I, I was planning for an online class. Um, so the work I was doing was for the class and I couldn't show it on my blog. I've had to cancel the class, unfortunately, due to a family illness. But I'm still going to show you some old stuff. But I'm, my point is, I'm going to try my best to keep my blog going because it's essential that I keep in touch. Because in blog world, if you disappear for a week, everybody forgets about you. So I'm still going to try my best to keep my blog going. Um, it's not as pressured as filming for class, editing videos, posting classes, writing them up, taking pictures. So, you know, it's quite not easy to keep your blog going, but it's less, less of a, a task, really. So today, I show, I've been showing you books for a bit, haven't I? I showed you sketchbooks, I showed you colouring books and picture books that I'd used as sketchbooks. I showed you gridded notebooks. Today I'm just going to show you some artist books that I made myself from scratch paired with paper folders and everything. Um, now this one is, in terms of how it appears now, is probably my favourite because it's sculptural, it won't close, it's so full, it just won't close, it just falls open. So I'll take you through this, the, the paper is just acrylic paper for use, use with acrylic paints so and then I've made different leaves with embroidery on and put them in so that's that all the leaves aren't necessarily the same size um, got that's some paperwork on there and some sequins on the page this could take a long time some embroidered cloth there then a little bit of drawing on the page with sequins and some pin pricking then another page that's made kind of with added plastics to a cut off piece of paper. Um, I'll just flick through this. Um, it's been made for quite a while and it sits, I have a glass cabinet and here we've got a little book on top of a page. So this is a page, but there's a little book here with lots of different pages with things going on that's actually stitched onto the page. And just more work here and here. A lot of the time the pages aren't the same size. I like that adds interest if the pages aren't the same size. But it's, and there's another little fold over there attached to a page. I think cramming it this way and not having all the pages the same size helps it to be sculptural. So that sits like that on a shelf. I've got a glass cabinet where I keep I keep embroidery supplies in there as well, but also pieces of work that I've finished. So it sits open on a shelf in there. Uh, this is another one. This isn't as sculptural. So this cover is heavily, heavily embellished. Um, punched holes there and tied them with ribbon. So, and I've done a, a bit of embroidery there that extends over to there. So this is the front cover. There's pin pricking and French knots there. And then on this inside page, as you can see, it's embroidered silk velvet and silk, also with a little bit of stitched paper. And then this one, so I quite like, when I make a book, I don't really know when to stop. So I would say that this is the page, okay, that was made. All the pattern paper pieces were the pages. And then I came back and made overlays, protective overlays for them with lace cloth and some delicate paper. And that's got bullion knots on it and there's beaded edge on there as well. Um, so that's a page. And I've said before I don't care about the reverse, it doesn't bother me. That's an overlay with lace cloth and little pom-poms on. And again, this is the page. That's the actual page. So that is a protective overlay. Okay. This is a protective overlay, this one. It's again, lace cloth. And this is my favourite page, I think. This is my favourite page I've ever made. I don't know why, there's just something about it. It's got pink sequins, it's got a jewel, it's got other sequins, it's got some really delicate blue cloth there. It's got some glass beads here, a little overlay there of black and white paper that's got French knots on the edge and then this paper attached. I just think every, every time I come across this picture, because it features a lot in my memories on Facebook, I'm always drooling and because I really do love that page more than I love I do love the others as well but that one somehow 
So this is another overlay. This is plastic, uh, which I'm not really a big fan of, and I probably wouldn't use it again. But that's the beauty of sampling. You try it, you don't like it, so you don't use it again. But I'm not going to throw it away. Um, it's valid. It's valid as a sample and valid as information of what I don't like. And then this is another page. That was the overlay for it. Another overlay there. It's all silk. Silk velvet, silk metallic tissue, and I think that's silk scrim, scrim there. Which again, I haven't ever bought any more since then because it wasn't what I thought it would be. And I don't really like working with it. And then that's the final page. Okay. It's just strips of paper stitched together and embellished. Um, so you have to be careful closing them so you don't trap anything. And then I've got one more of these here to show you. I'd be here all day if I showed you all of them. So that's those two. Okay, and then I've got this one, and I haven't looked at this one for a while. So this one again, I've punched holes here and tied it with ribbon, and again we've got embroidery on the front, and some pin pricking and beading, and that embroidery extends onto the inside page. There, yeah. And again, overlay, although I don't... Yeah, it is. This is the page, okay, again, pattern papers stitched together, then enhanced, there's buttonhole stitch on here, um, there's beads on the edge of there, there's pom-poms here, and then this is the overlay, which is some silk, some textured silk, some paper, this is actually paper, um, stitch, there's guillotte stitch there, buttonhole edge, um, buttonhole, buttonhole, bullion knots, pom-poms on the edge and then again another overlay do you know what it's making me want to do it some vintage cloth some lace cloth over a dotted silk and some silk dupe on I apologize for that noise I think my neighbor got his lawnmower out um, bullion knots sequins beads okay and another page a shorter page because they're not always the same size just layering, building up papers and adding sequins and stitch and things. And then another overlay. These are just delicate scrims and lace cloth. And then they're enhanced with that's buttonhole stitch there. And that's um, bullion knots and the more little pom-poms on that edge there. And then bigger pom-poms there with these droplet sequin things. And another page. And another overlay. Now this is paper, this paper there. And the rest, this is silk dupion. This is lace cloth, okay. More sequins. More sequins, bullion knots, buttonhole stitch, bullion knots. And the final page. Strips of paper that are stitched and enhanced with a beaded edge. Bullion knots, more fabric laid on top. More of my own... <sighs> I make that myself and I don't know what to call it really. It's like I don't, it's like a mesh, but I make it myself. And then lace cloth there. So that's those three. Um, and to be honest with you, if I was to do the other three as well, then we'd be here till Christmas. Okay, so thank you for watching that. And by the way, if you've got any questions or anything, feel free, drop me an email. Uh, my email's on my blog and my blog link is always below the video. Okay.